Hello everyone, today I am going to be reviewing the new track off of the upcoming third studio record by the Norwegian-British duo The Green Children. Uh, they are an electro-pop group who have been around for quite a while, but they're, this is only their third album that they're approaching with. Uh, they've released two songs so far off of this record, uh, ECG and Rooms, uh, last year. And I have already reviewed those tracks on this channel, so I'll link it in the description in case anyone is wanting to check that out. And I have also reviewed their two past albums as well, so you can all check all that out who's new to my channel who's interested in the Green Children's music. Now, they changed their name to TGC, basically the acronym for their name. They rebranded themselves last year in the release of their first single for this record. And um, I still am going to call them the Green Children because I just feel as though the title of the Green Children, which is still what TGC stands for, it's not gone entirely. I can sort of see why they wanted to rebrand, maybe adding some simplicity, um, some more recognition in, in that way um, for marketing purposes. Um, but me personally... I still prefer to call them the Green Children as I feel like that name evokes so much more of a sort of intrigue and mystery to the group themselves, whereas an acronym is just kind of flat and it doesn't really uh, provide any of that. So I don't think it, it just unfortunately, you know, it's not quite as interesting of a title. And so so because of that, I just I still prefer to call them the Green Children. I understand that, you know, they are TGC now. Um, but, you know, be that as it may, they are still the Green Children. It's just underneath the acronym. Um, and, you know, with that rebranding comes a change in style. Um, they have gotten, I would say, a lot more electropop and a lot more sort of contemporary in their sound with recent singles that they have released. I can sense sort of a sonic cohesion between ECG, Rooms, and Symbiotic, and I think these songs flow well together, and it has me feeling like I can sort of sense the sort of set texture and sound we're going to see with this new record. Lyrically, I'm really interested to see where it goes, and I'm really curious to see what the album would be called, um, because in the past, their, their music has definitely had a very fairy tale storybook element to it that's very escapist. They would at once sort of juxtapose very sort of historical, medieval, fantastical, mythical concepts and settings and contexts with very much modern and contemporary storytelling of situations like romance or heartache and uh, tell them in that way. And they would create these sort of portals with their music that I thought were very sort of worldly and es esoteric in sound and escapism. And so with the recent songs we get, we definitely get that dreamy, sultry escapism coming through with Marlo, the producer's eclectic, unique style of electronic production, which, like I said, is getting a little bit more contemporary. Uh, there's definitely a Latin tinge to this song that their others don't have. This song is very heavy in sort of what I feel like is a very sort of Miami sound. Um, it's got this sort of cool synth texture that washes over you, kind of like a pina colada on a hot summer beach. Uh, and the textures are just very uh, eargasmic, I would say is the right way to put it. Um, and there is this unique kind of uh, mid-tempo rhythm that carries through, and I love how it fades out with the steel drum, giving it a distinctly Caribbean feel as well. So we've got all these interesting Latin textures and rhythms coming through, bubbling just under the surface, where the song is mid-tempo, but it kind of carries a groove that is easy to dance to, but at the same time, it's just very much a vibe very kind of relaxing. It sweeps you up. It makes you think of like those Miami evenings on the beach or at any sort of Mediterranean town or coastal village where, you know, you're swept up in the sunset against turquoise waters. Um, the song was actually conceived in Spain. The two of them came up with it during a, you know, a very sort of whimsical outing in that country. And you can hear that flavor in the sonics and in the lyrics. Um, very much about this whirlwind romance between two people who are strangers who come across each other and instantly have this connection that blossoms into something quite beautiful, quite romantic. Um, this isn't new territory for them. They've always had unabashed love songs that are so overarching and so whimsical and so magical and uh, just really give you a feeling of hope in love. And that is something that is character of their music. And I always expect that from them. I think that, you know, the darker edges do come through sometimes in their lyricism. But so far, the darkest song we've heard so far for this new record is Rooms. I would say that song veers off in a little bit of a uh, murkier and more esoteric direction in terms of the metaphors being grander, but ECG and Symbiotic are very much contemporary electronic 
love songs, uh, but a love song that, you know, is very, I almost feel a little bit reality TV. Maybe it's just because I've been watching so much Bachelorette in Paradise recently uh, as a guilty pleasure, but it just keeps cropping up in my head when I hear songs like this. Um, so I would definitely say that this song carries all of those amazing textures that made the group unique in terms of their production. Nilla's vocals are as sultry as ever. They're as, uh, as clear as ever. And yet you can tell she's sort of experimenting a little bit more with her delivery. And like I said, it is adapted to a little bit more of a contemporary, the uh, almost urban sound that she uh, is, is, is employing along with the production, um, which is unique from some of the more sort of... Uh, broad ranging tracks that they've done in the past. Um, but again, it's just a different flavor and I expect their upcoming album to, again, like all of their records, have all of these different avenues and all of these different co cohesive elements that pull together but tell all these unique, uh, beautiful stories. And so at the end of the day, I'm just really excited to see where they go from this song. I mean, I could see how some fans might think of this as, you know, a bit too contemporary, a little bit too urban. Maybe it's very, it's a very cosmopolitan song and their group, you know, the name is the Green Children. You think of nature and you think of them being music that's made for the forests and the mountains and the oceans. And although the element of the beach comes up so, str so strongly in this song, I will say that this definitely does feel you know, a lot more uh, cosmopolitan in cre in sound and in texture, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we all like to go into spot, have dinner, be in the city, experience the nightlife a little bit. And um, they've, you know, flirted with that before in tracks like Black Magic, although they definitely entangled that with so much sort of more kind of a, well, in the imagery and in the lyricism, like very sort of almost a pagan fairy tale aesthetic. And uh, this time around, that is stripped away, um, and it is a little bit more conventional. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I think what they bring is cool freshness that, like I said, is like fruity and sweet. I don't know. Everything about it comes together and just, I think, a beautiful sort of wave of emotion and wave of refreshing sort of uh, electronic synth work because the synth work is gorgeous on this track and the production is immaculate as it always is. Marlo, the producer, is just a wonderful experimental eclectic producer that I think is always trying to come up with a new uh, unique way to kind of evoke an, evoke an emotion with sound in um, not always the most uh, acoustic way, but I do like the acoustic elements that do come into it, the live instrumentation that does come into it, like I said, with some of the Latin instruments. And um, I hope that the album, again, has a little bit of both, because I do like when they incorporate some of those live instruments, but I also love their electronic work, because it is so soaring and it is so esoteric. It's about the ultimate love, nothing higher than that, really. And it tells the story, like I said, of, again, them as a, as a couple, as a duo, their story, it's very much a uh, factor for all of these songs that they write. Again, unabashed love songs. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please give it a like and subscribe if you did. Um, and I'm very excited to see what we hear coming forward for them with this new record, which is hopefully very imminent uh, any day now, possibly. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace, love, and light.